Thanks for joining us tonight. The auto workers strike is now here in the Twin Cities Metro. The union gave the big three automakers until 11 this morning to make major progress or face more walkouts. We will shut down parts distribution until those two companies come to their senses and come to the table with a serious offer. Those two companies UAW President Sean Fain was referring to are Stellantis and GM. Some headway was made with Ford this week. 38 locations are now part of the strike, including the Stellantis facility in Plymouth and the General Motors plant in Hudson, Wisconsin. Gordon Severson spoke to the regional UAW president about the local impact out here and we're going to be out here as long as it takes. Workers at this General Motors Parts Distribution Center in Hudson, Wisconsin were expecting to go into work Friday morning, but instead they got the call to go on strike. A lot of them I think are relieved because it's just the not knowing is, is the hardest part. Local union president Steve Fisk says 81 union employees will take four different shifts so they can have a presence in front of the plant 24 hours a day. This is their huge money maker. Uh, these parts plant makes about a third of their profit every year comes from these parts plants. Yet they pay us the, le the least amount of money. Workers have been through it before. They say this tent was the same one they used four years ago when they went on strike. You know, we're not doing this to strike. We're doing this to protect job security for our members. Regional Union Director Brandon Campbell says the new locations that were added to the strike do not include Ford because he says the company has come to the table with a serious proposal that is now being considered by union leaders. He's hopeful the other two companies, GM and Stellantis, will follow suit. These automakers have, have caused this by not putting their best foot forward at the bargaining table. Over in Plymouth, around 80 Stellantis employees also got the call to strike. I think there's a lot of anxiety and there's a little bit of excitement in there too. Alex Tivis is a second generation employee. He says workers gave up a lot to help the auto industry during the Great Recession and the companies need to return the favor. There are a lot of concessions that were made in 2008 um, after the recession that people like my father made and we're just asking for those things back. So a big question, how will this affect you, the everyday consumer? Well, both of these companies supply parts to car dealerships. The dealership types in the request, these companies will get that request, and then they'll send over the parts. So it's possible that the next time you get your car fixed, the dealership might not have the parts you need, or they might have to work a little harder to find it, at least until this strike gets worked out. All right, Gordon, thank you. Thank you.